Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this home decor DIY. To start with, we need some bottles of whatever. If you want to use uh, bottles of wine, whatever you want, just make sure they are transparent and they are empty and clean. I'm using bottles of wine because those are the kinds of uh, bottles that I had around the house. I'm using six. We're going to be needing some bowl and water and I'm using gel food coloring for this because I didn't have liquid food coloring that the one they sell at supermarkets. That one I feel is going to be better because you're working with liquid anyways to begin with. So it's going to be a lot easier. So if you can find some liquid um, food coloring is going to work better. For me it worked well using gel food coloring but because this is a gel after all it was a bit of a struggle to just dissolve those bits of gel but it was fine after all it did dissolve. So once I have done that I'm just going to keep coloring all my water and I'm just using all the colors of the rainbow. So it's time to pour the water onto the bottle. For that I'm being helped with some kitchen stuff to start with this huge soup spoon and this cone that is going to help me pour my water without making a mess. So in goes my first water, which is the red one. Looks kind of orange here, but I promise it's red. And it's pretty much up to you how much water you want to add to your bottles. And here goes my actual orange. And you're gonna see the yellow right in there, which I haven't technically done, but I did. It's because I started actually with the yellow one, but I kind of forgot that um, rainbows start with the um, red, not with the yellows. But it's okay because at the end, we're going to arrange the whole thing in order. And here goes my green one. Now, as you can see, my orange and my yellow one don't look even. It's because I'm leaving every other bottle like fuller and the rest of them not as full. And so for this case, for the green one, it's going to be as the orange. But yeah, pretty much up to you how much water you want to add on each bottle. And here goes for my blue one, which is my kind of fave. I don't really know why I love glasses that are filled with blue waters. And then you place the bottle in front of the light or just the window and the reflection is beautiful. Plus, I love the color blue. Thumbs up if you like the color blue as well. And then here goes the purple one. And this was actually the debut that I had through the whole process, which is kind of funny. So that's that for the water. As you can see, they are not even. And then I'm going to add the fake flowers. Now you can use some natural flowers, but I'm not really sure how natural flowers do with food coloring. But if you have experience with that and it's okay and you prefer to use natural flowers, you can go ahead and do that. For me, this is fine. But yeah, I'm just going to show you a few ways on you how you can place your flowers. This is one. Having all the flowers on all the bottles, this is one way to go. And then here's another one, adding flowers in every other bottle. And this is the final one. This is actually one that I'm going to be keeping because I love the placement on this one. I really enjoyed making this one. I felt like a scientist while doing this, mixing and placing the whole thing in bottles. So yeah, if you liked this idea, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to share it so more people can watch it and join. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you uh, think this is a cool idea. Hopefully you do and yeah, I'll take you later. Bye guys.